Robin. So happy that you're here stopping by and I'm so happy that I'm back on track with my videos. <laughs> I've been busy uh, getting ready for the baby shower for my daughter and I'll share a little bit of that in the end of this video. So for my diaper cake for the bottom, I just use um, whatever tray on the bottom um, is how big my diaper cake will be. So I just kind of go according to the tray and then I stick a Tupperware bowl or anything round um, in the center just to use as a temporary mold. I take extra large uh, rubber band and then I just um, layer my diapers as you see me doing here. And I'm kind of, you know, spacing them apart uh, semi-evenly, you know, just uh, at first I can always um, adjust them after I get done. So I'm just here, just molding it to that bowl using the rubber band, tucking the diapers in. I first layer them like you see there and then just stick them in as I go. And then for the middle, that's what I'm working on now. I take another rubber band and I make a smaller bunch and that is going to go in the center where the Tupperware bowl is. I hope I'm making sense. So, um, yeah, see, I'm just going to bind them together just like that, squeezing, you know, them and just, you know, making it round. <laughs> and the purpose of diaper cakes, if you don't know, um, well, my diaper cakes, I should say, are to, for extra diapers, you know, it's in the middle of the night, you forgot, you go, oh no, I forgot to get diapers. And so you have some extras, you know, in the baby's room. So you display the diaper cake in the nursery and then if you run out of diapers, you take it apart. That's what it's for. <laughs> so there you saw, I just uh, uh, put that middle bunch in the center where the Tupperware bowl was. And you know, it, however you can do it, everybody's coordination is different. You know, I just work at it and I do it different each time, <laughs> to be honest with you. It's just, you know, how it works at that moment. And then I take um, some doilies that I get from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to uh, tape one with my double-sided tape. I do use some hot glue for the very bottom doily to the, um, the, uh, the bottom of the tray. So it, it doesn't move on me. So that's kind of what's gonna hold that down. I don't wanna use any hot glue on the diapers themselves because they're for extra diapers. So there will be uh, maybe a few that uh, might get ruined, you know, uh, when you pull the tape off, but the jot tape from the Dollar Tree, the double-sided tape is not too, too strong. So the diaper should be just fine. So then I'm gonna here, I'm gonna take that double-sided tape and I'm just gonna layer some on top of that do doily. And then I'll set the um, bottom, tier of the diaper cake right on top of that and that's going to hold it. And then once all my diapers are spaced uh, semi-evenly apart, you know, just to make it look neater, I'm gonna take some twine and I'm gonna tie that around, keeping the rubber band on there, but this is just for extra hold, just in case that uh, rubber band does break. So I'm just gonna tie that in a knot, cut the excess off, and then that's that. And then you'll wanna repeat that with the next two tiers, making each one smaller than the one underneath it. And then we will get started to the next step.
So all my tears are done. And now I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna put another dolly on top of each layer. So the bottom uh, tier will have a dolly on top and then you put the double-sided tape on each side underneath and on top, and then you set the next tier right on top of that, push down, you know, it's gonna be sturdy. I mean, it's wobbly, it's gonna fall apart, but you just don't wanna ruin your diapers. So, I mean, it's sturdy enough to uh, transport and move around, at least. So here's, that's what I'm doing here. I'm just getting ready to put my last tier on, and there it is. And you see how each tier is smaller than the next. And I'm just gonna simply just stick that on. And then we'll get ready um, to add the ribbon. And you can use any ribbon you want. You can use any toppers that you want according to you know your, your baby shower theme or whatnot. Or you know, you can just use I've used um, you know, those diaper stuffed animals, those, you know, the kind that they kind of cuddle with. Um, I've used those for toppers and those work great as well. And I was gonna use that for the Winnie the Pooh, but then I saw these baby bath toys and I fell in love with those. So that's what I will be using. So she can also pull those off when the baby gets bigger and have some bath toys. Okay. So all my tiers are done. I've got three tiers and I'm ready to add my ribbon. I'm going to use burlap ribbon on the bottom and then are on the bottom. I mean on the back and then I'm going to layer on another Winnie the Pooh ribbon on top of that. Now I did find uh, two different kinds of Winnie the Pooh ribbon. So I will not be using the one that I started out with. So you'll see pictures at the end of how I did change it. But, and that's another great thing about these diaper cakes. You can change them around. You're using double-sided tape so you can take them apart. I also accidentally put the last tier, the diapers are actually facing the, the opposite way of the two tiers below, which drove me nuts. It probably wouldn't bother anybody else. <laughs> I told my, my daughter-in-law and she was like, I would have never noticed. <laughs> so yeah, um, it did bother me. So I did end up uh, changing it around. So you're gonna see a little bit of difference in um, the end product. So here I'm just adding the double-sided tape right onto that rubber band area. Um, and then I'm gonna add the burlap ribbon. And then I do add a little bit of hot glue just for the ends of those ribbons, just to make sure they don't pull apart because you want them, you know, kind of snug. So you wanna pull the ribbon uh, pretty tight to wrap around those diapers. And you'll see me doing that here in a sec.
So here's that other Winnie the Pooh ribbon I was telling you about. It, and I did end up going with a more colorful one. So um, yeah, but here I'm going to show you actually how I applied the, the ribbon. And just like the layer before with the burlap, you just take that double-sided tape. And I just put little pieces along the ribbon itself and then added the ribbon right on top of that burlap ribbon, making a layered look. Here I'm turning my cake to the back side so I can see where the two ends met and I did add some super glue onto the ends of that burlap and then I'm going to just add this ribbon right on top of that and I did use a little bit of hot glue just to dab onto the ends of that ribbon too just to secure it. And finally, all the ribbon is attached. And I did make a cute little bow to go right in the front of the middle tier. You can, you can do whatever you want. You can design it however you want. That's what's great about, you know, making your own things because, you know, you can coordinate them to your liking or your theme. So anyway, there is the diaper cake with the ribbon that I went with. Um, so I put some green in the middle and the same ribbon that's on the, the other two tiers, the top and the bottom. I just made that cute little bow that goes in the front. And then I'm now it's time to uh, attach my toppers. So for my toppers, I'm going to be using the double sided super glue tape. It's a lot stronger and it's not going to ruin the diapers because it's going to be attached to that doily that's already taped down to the very top tier. So Look at these little bath toys. Aren't they cute? So I'm going to put Tigger, Winnie the Pooh, and Piglet on the very top. And then I put the owl uh, on the side of the cake, I believe. And then I put the, I think it's a kangaroo. I don't know all the names. I'm sorry. Um, I don't remember. But I put him on the back of the cake. So you want to decorate the front as well as the back. The back doesn't have to be as elaborate because you know a lot of times it's up against a wall. But anyway, here's, I added a little flower, which I loved. I loved the way this looked, but I really wanted the honey pot for Winnie the Pooh. So I did it in depth changing it, and you'll see that um, after this clip, here is the finished product this way. And see, I just love that flower. I did end up putting the flowers on the back of the cake. Um, and then I did end up putting a when, uh, the honey pot right in the center where that flower is. I took the little shoes off and it came out so, so cute. 
So here it is and I hope you all like my video and please stay tuned to see the, um, the shower setup and my daughter's reaction when she first walks in the door. So with that said, enjoy the rest of the video. Thanks for stopping by. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. I would love to have you as a uh, YouTube family member. And I will talk to you all later. Bye. Oh, here is the back side of the first round of this diaper cake. I did change the back as well. Here is the final diaper cake at the baby shower. So here's the table. There's that diaper cake. I ended up putting the honey pot on there. Isn't that cute? And my daughter and my daughter-in-law and my niece, my uh, granddaughters put this whole room together. I have been missing in action because I've been crocheting Mr. Winnie and Piglet. And I had gotten this um, little high chair, this antique high chair at a thrift store. And I just painted it up and I just thought that was super cute. And Winnie the Pooh is holding a balloon. And here is the arch, we're almost ready. The party's at two. Uh, we haven't started yet, so but we are set up. It is about 11.30, I think, today, this morning. So we're just getting the food prep. But look at how good they did those tables. Mommy to be, how cute is that? My daughter is gonna be so excited. They wouldn't let her come until two o'clock they want to surprise her so there's that table look at those little honey pots my daughter made those isn't it cute so there's that one and then we got this table here and that's where mama to be will be sitting so we got that table and look at the um little silverware that they made up. It looks like a carrot. How cute is that? They did such an amazing job. Uh oh, you have a malfunction over there. I got to fix. There's that table. Let's see if I can. This says sweet as can be and it looks like we need some more tape or something there i'll have to get one of the girls to come fix that so there's that one and then we've got this table here that's this table and there's that why are you? I feel weird you're filming me. I want your reaction. <laughs> For what? YouTube? Yes. Oh, this fell, Jamila. Okay. Did it fall? Aww. It did. It's fine. It's not. We worked really hard. We have to fix it. Not you. Well, how do you, how do you fix it? Baby? I'm like the tallest one. Babe! So I just oh. Jaden. We're like the same height. Oh, Jaden, yeah. I was like, what? Oh, my we might need to oh. tape it. These are cute. Didn't they do a good job? Yeah. Oh, 
Oh, there's a jar, so you can't lift it up that high. You look pretty. Thanks. I feel my feet swelling already. Oh, you need to put them up. Say hi to the YouTube people. Hi. Hi, YouTube people. <laughs>